welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to discuss about flexbox alignment so don't forget to visit wahidacademy.com and go to your coordinator we have just a div of parent div and we have a div of child div so you can see the output here or the code here and for parent div we have just set the background color to light blue you can see the color here and for ch child if we have some basic like uh, with 200 pixel height 100 pixel background color to red and the border radius of 15 pixel and finally this is the output of this coding and i want to just show you just right click on this go to inspect element so if you want to just make this smaller or you can just click on this uh, toggle device toolbar to show this if it is responsive or not now you can just you can scroll this like this so you can see and just make this off now you can just scroll this so you can see we will come on the red element or you can see on the red box so it means it is not responsive for right now but if you are just going to add here inside the parent div, I'm just going to add here the display to flex. And now you can save, go to your web page and refresh. So once again, you can just check this. Now just make this smaller. So we cannot just make this smaller than this. But if you can uh, right click here, go to inspect element and you can just check this now. So you can see if you are just going to make this smaller, so the red element or the red box will be smaller too. You can see this, it means it is working perfectly and it is responsive. So this is the beauty of uh, Flexbox. So inside this class, we are discussing about Flexbox alignment, how we can put the element uh, uh, vertically or horizontally. So this is the topic. So the first attribute I'm just going to add here is flex direction. So you can just add here flex direction. So on the row value. Now you can save and refresh. So you can see there is no changes because this is the default value of display flex. Display flex is equal to flex direction to row. So this is the default value. If you are putting here row reverse, so your element will be on the center or not center on the right side. So I, I want to just make this. So there is one more thing. I, I on, I'm just going to remove this control X and save so you can just duplicate this so this is the preview and now I'm just going to duplicate the child diff two more time control S and refresh now you can see now uh, the alignment of these elements are vertically because diffs are a block element as I told inside the diff class so you can see now it is just displayed like a block element if you are adding here inside the parent display to flex display to flex f l e flex now you can save go to your web page and refresh so you can see the alignment of this is now it is changed from vertically to horizontally so this is just uh, the usage of display flex also you can just use the flex direction to row and you can say reverse if you want to put this on the right side so you can see now we have these three element on the right side after the flex direction property we have justify content property so you can just write here justify content to center if you want to put the elements in center now you can see it is in center so instead of center you can just use here a space around save now you can see we have some equal space between these divs or elements now you can see now we can focus on the space it is just working perfectly if you are making just this bigger so the space will be bigger if you are or if you will 
make it smaller so the space will be smaller between them so this is the beauty of flex box and also you can use here space between you can save and refresh so on the space between uh if you just duplicate this one more time and save now come here and refresh now we have four div or four element right element inside this light blue for the first and the last or you can say for the left or right there will not be any space so it will be fixed to the left the first element and the last element will be fixed to the right side then we have some equal space between the center element you can see so uh, this class is about this class was about how you can align your element horizontally or vertically and how you can just work with the flex box alignment so i hope you are understand you have enjoyed from watching this video have a nice time and see you